Hey guys, welcome back to Reign of Giants. So last time we did a whole bunch of stuff, half of which I can't hardly remember. I remember getting the ice box and glamour, but that was pretty much about it. Having the full moon, finding the desert, all of that was quite glorious to say the least. I think this time my aim is probably to get a crock pot. It's pretty high on the list, as I've mentioned a few times before. Let's have a look for a tree location, shall we? Um, I'm not sure if burning these trees down actually counts. If it does, it'll be the best place to do it. If not, I think maybe just over in this pig village here, because screw the pigs, am I right? Here we go. Setting everything on fire. Come on, Glomar, get out of there. Get a bit of sanity gain from Glomer. This Glomer's nice as Weber, but I think spiders do attack Glomer. I can't fully remember though. Oh, what are you doing? I tried to click on the tree and it wouldn't move. <laughs> I'm going to set you on fire, pig. This tree. Got it. Oh, a dead butterfly. That could be fun. I'm actually going to have to deal with this pig now. Come on, then. There we go. Not too hard. Just sit there for a bit and take a few hits. So I think this is six, right? I can't really remember fully, but I think it's six. This also clears out a bit more of my area for the pigs. So I can avoid them. I can also shave as well, that's a good point. Come on. I'm not giving up until I kill this butterfly. There we go. Get me some more health back. Okay, so I'll cook this up. Throw it in here and I'll have a look at the recipe for the crock pot. So it's just three cut stone. That is not a lot. Wait, isn't that four in shipwrecked? Might be, but I might also be hallucinating. So I'll put it near the farms near the ice box so I can just do this. Oh, and I don't actually have the stuff for... I need honey, don't I? I think honey is my next aim. Oops, wrong one. Not sure what that's going to make. It could make trail mix. I've never actually made that myself before, but I'll have to wait and see. So honey's important. Not sure how important it's going to be right now, though, because of um, winter coming up. So I could probably try and do it in the spring. Throw these back in here along with that. I'll cook that up later. Farm's coming along nicely. So if I get some more manure. And I get some more other stuff. I think we could do it. So honey, let's go for a bee box, shall we? Down here. Or I could just go back to the... <laughs> To the tumbleweed raffle. Um, I, but I think a bee box is more important. So we'll go and do that. Manure. I need to make sure to be picking this up. Almost time for bed. It's fine. Having a little journey here.
Uh, that's not the right way, but I'll get this manure anyway. Didn't even bring my shears with me, did I? What is a tumbleweed doing over here? Guess I can do the tumbleweed raffle and go and get bees. Um, so I'm going to take out one beehive, but then I'll have to come back later to capture some more. I could have made a net, but I completely forgot that I needed to. So I need boards. I need to destroy a beehive. And a net will be pretty important, actually, because then I can place just some stray bees by the base. Where do I want to go? I'll head all the way down here, because I'll leave that bee box so I can go and capture some quickly. Because as you probably full well know, this game gets harder as it goes on. What is that? I just heard some weird sounds. Sounded slightly like the burger. <laughs> and I kind of want to avoid that if I can. Um, let me take this out so I can make a little campfire. Here we go. I'll chuck this pine cone on so I have a bit more light in the night. Um, I might want this, right? Stay away from me, Glomma. I don't want to accidentally hit you. Just taking a lot of damage here. But it's fine. So I can take out the beehive, get the honey, and the rest of the stuff. There we go. I kind of need to learn how to attack bees. I guess in the future, so I don't take as much damage. But I'm not too sure on the whole separating them thing. So I've got the honeycomb. And now I just wait, and then I head back, make the net. Well, I'll make the shears first, I guess, because that's sort of more important. And I could head back in the night, I guess, as well. Need to just make sure I know where I'm going. Straight up. Oh, it's a full moon. Never mind. Of course it is. Because we got Glomma recently, didn't we, so... It doesn't actually take that long to get from place to place. I guess it feels like it takes longer in Shipwrecked because you have to, like, ride the boat. No, I need to go this way. I actually did just get kind of lost. That's the funny thing. <laughs> I haven't learned the world like layout yet. And then I still got Glamour for a little bit of sanity. It should help, I think. I'm still not too sure about the whole spider thing, though. I'm pretty sure they're hostile towards Glamma. So I might want to avoid them for the time being. We only got a piece of corn. Unlucky. Um, I should be able to eat these now, right? Yeah, that's fine. Um, because it does like 69 as far as I remember, something like 69.2. I'll take this, shave off everything else. And 
Let's make ourselves a net. Can you catch Glamour? <laughs> no, I mean, it said it for, for like bugs and stuff, so I was like, wait, what? Really? Fishing rod, bird trap. So I'm not going to need a bird trap just yet, because I'm not going for the bird cage right now. Can I make... Yes, I can. So I might want to go back to the tumbleweeds in case I want more farms at one point. But I think right now we should be fine. So bees. Let's go get ourselves some bees. Um, I might get like six because... Four for the bird box and two to just drop so they can just spread flowers everywhere. Is there any bird bird boxes? Bee boxes. Or beehives even. I guess we're going back to the same place. We're catching our sons some bees. More beefalo dung. Fresh from the source. <laughs> I don't know what I was aiming to say there. Um, we might want a free slot though, so I think getting rid of these seeds. And we have no Chester. Which is a bummer. No Chester means like minus nine carrying slots. Here is our beehive. And there is like no bees around here. Where are all the bees? Do they not come out in autumn? Is that how this works? Is it like... Oh, you've got an autumn stun. No, never mind. <laughs> Uh-oh. But that happens. Yes, bees. We will leave you. I'll grab some grass on my way around because it's what I'm using to create all these farms, so I might need a bit more. Come on, bees. Oh, here's another one. And here comes the horde of angry killer bees. That's what they're called, right? It's like. Don't really want to get killed right now, guys, please. Bees are actually probably one of my most common deaths in this game. Did a bee just land there? Yeah, it did. Here we go again. This is just going to be the end of the cycle right now. Just run around in a circle around the beehive. Let the killer bees go back into the base and then just go and grab us another bee. Or not, because it's dusk. Oh, no. What do you do when it turns to dusk? I'm not sure there's much else in this area, is there? Like, no. There isn't much for me to do right now. I guess I could head down to the other beehive, see if I'll have any more luck down there tomorrow. But getting a beehive before winter is kind of important. Mole hole. I saw the moles out. I still kind of need to figure out how the moles work. I don't even know where this beehive is. Oh, there we go. And here is our beehive. So I think I'll just wait around here for the night. I uh, don't really want to waste logs and stuff like creating more campfires. So I think just using the torch and setting fire to stuff for now should be fine.
Right, okay. Cooking this up might be a better idea so that um, the campfire works as well, but again, I think we're just fine using the torches. This reminds me of the whole... Um, I used to watch Spongebob. And it reminds me of that episode where um, they're just going around wanting to go jellyfishing. Just waiting until the morning where they all come up. This is like me right now. Just waiting. Hiding behind the grass. Waiting for the inevitable bees to rise. Whilst Kalama just messes about in the foreground. And I set fire to another piece of grass. I should have probably picked that first, right? Not gonna catch? No, I wanted it to catch, kind of get like an endless chain going so I didn't have to set fire to anything else. This tree might be a good thing because the night isn't very long and I'm pretty sure full moon is only like two nights, right? Unless it's different in Rain of Giants. No, it's not. It's different in the other one. The together because that is like one night. So it isn't as long. Because if it was long, I think it would be a little bit easier for people. Burning down trees doesn't buy as much light, does it? I guess though, if it did, it would be a bit too cheap. A bit like how torches are a bit cheap. It only takes like two of each. I'm pretty sure it's two of each, right? Yeah. Shearing the beefalo could be quite important for winter, so I might need to do that at some point. Come on, bees. Here we go. You're mine. I could capture all five of these and take a bunch of damage in doing so. Also use up nearly like all of my net. But then I wouldn't have to keep running away from them. So it could be better? But right now I'm thinking it wouldn't be. Come on, bees. I'm a waiting. I think the other beehive might be a bit better. But I only need two more. There we go. I just have to run off the screen. What are you doing? No, I don't want that. I don't want some butterfly. I could just straight up murder this butterfly. But do I want to be remembered as the butterfly murderer? Here we go, our last bee. Now let's get out of here, Glamour. All in the day's work. Two days' work. <laughs> So I think now as soon as we get back, it's straight onto the beehive. And then we can start making some more farms and probably like start focusing on the winter gear. Because I think the winter gear is going to be pretty important. It might be five bees to make the thing, but I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it's not. Because as far as I can remember, you can only have four bees in a beehive at once. And then once you kill one, it takes a little while for a one to respawn. But that's just about all I remember. Manure collection. 
<laughs> Just some guy in the wild running around screaming manure. Manure? Manure. Manure collection. Just running by it, picking up all like the beefaloes, buffalo stuff. Yeah, Trying to compare. Don't start to real life now. It doesn't seem to be working very well. Uh, that should work for the thing I'm after. I'll add fuel because I'm not going into the dark arts just yet. Let's murder this and eat ourselves some butterfly wings. And we can also make a bee box when I cut down more trees, that is. Let's get on to tree cutting, shall we? The most fun part of Don't Starve. I think I'm going to need more tools as well. Yeah, I am. Okay, let me make a new axe. And well, I'll wait until this breaks until I make a new shovel, otherwise I'm not going to have enough space. There we go. And I'm going to need to cut down like two or three more trees. It's almost bedtime as well, so I can't really remember how it works with... Uh-oh. With the whole, like, homeless bees, whether you have to put them down first or... After? I'm pretty sure it's first. Because then they don't have the home and they start fleeing. Right, so let me drop one here. Kind of want it near Glamour's statue. And drop another one here. And they should start spreading the flowers for me. I'm not sure whereabouts I want the bees to go. Probably... Probably here. <laughs> oh, the awful puns. Well. Uh... Maybe... <laughs> and that wasn't even intended, sorry. I'm not sure. Right now. Um, please tell me this works as honey. Ham. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's he doing? Oh, he can have it, it's fine. Since I found out that they don't actually straight up eat it and instead just take it back to the base, I'm not so fussy with it anymore. Throw this in here. Um, we need some fuel. This is why I wanted to cut down a bit more than I needed. Um, a refined three of these, I think. Oh, it's only two. And we have our own beatbox, which I don't know where I want to place. Here seems like a nice setup already, so possibly over there. Um, I am just going to put it here though, so it's not too far away from the base. Still has like a few flowers to go and collect. Let me grab this, uh, place another one down and kill this rabbit. See what I got? I did get honey ham. Nice. Throw this in here and that in there. Uh, keep this on me. Um, not enough manure. Can I start in here? Can I start in here? I haven't even sorted any of these out yet. But I will in the future. The razor I'll take with me because I think tomorrow might be a good time to go and start getting some beefalo wool. Uh, I think I have enough gold nuggets. So. Beefalo wall and the desert is probably the best bet. Uh, we have enough food, I'd say. I can start building some more farms soon. This rain is never going to end, is it? And when we do that, I think we should be on a good path. Maybe go and get like um, a 
and like one of the bird things as well. So if we make like a bird trap and then go and get some reeds from the swamp. I think we could be on a good path to having a good base set up here. And once we have the basics, then we can move on to the winter gear. So then guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thanks in advance, and I'll speak to you all next time.